And by the way, you're about to meet a golden retriever who has landed his way into our boss's heart and therefore into our heart, yes. but needs a little help maybe a lot of help in the training department. <laughs> and of course, if you're a dog owner, you know the importance of training your pet. It makes for a more harmonious household. But the way dogs are trained has changed tremendously mm. thanks to scientific studies of how a dog's brain works. That's right. Becoming the alpha is no longer considered the best way to teach your pet, and punishment has been replaced by positive reinforcement. I'm so glad about that. <laughs> Our director of programming, Mark Demopoulos, has a golden retriever named Malcolm that is currently being trained, thank goodness. <laughs> and it's a really good thing because Mark's house would be destroyed if Malcolm was not in training right now. True Take that. a look. <laughs> Meet Malcolm, a one-year-old golden retriever that's one big ball of energy. He's mischievous and curious about everything. Malcolm is an adolescent male uh, golden retriever who is very rambunctious. He loves investigating everything, getting into everything. He's sort of the Dennis the Menace of dogs. <laughs> Dog trainer Deborah Norris has been working with Malcolm and his owner Mark since Malcolm was about four months old. Her goal is to teach them both proper behavior through positive reinforcement. Wrong for us might be a dog jumping, but for a dog, jumping is not wrong. It's something they would do naturally. It's wrong because they live with us. So we might want to make sure we're not reinforcing that behavior by petting them or giving them attention, which would be something that they would then do more. Like most dogs, Malcolm likes to chew things. But in his case, he was also eating what he was finding. First he grabbed this, and we thought he took the batteries out and ate the batteries. Wasn't the case. Then we found this through having him uh, regurgitate things. Then we discovered the rocks and had to have these surgically removed. And finally, he decided to, uh, that this light needed to come out of, the, out of the pond. And then, collectively, this is what he's been taking out of the pond. What's the best age to start training a dog? So I really do believe that uh, puppy training is very, very important, uh, starting as young as eight weeks. Dogs can begin learning at that age. And it's my experience that if you train a dog early and you socialize them properly, you can almost plan on not seeing a lot of those problem behaviors occurring. Because a lot of behaviors that happen, happen because the dog doesn't understand what they need to do in their environment. A knock at the door used to mean visitors were knocked down by Malcolm, but not anymore. Yes, back up in the den. Toss the treat. We want to use the treat placement to also further his distance. What are some common mistakes that you see when people are trying to train their dogs? Um, using theories or ideas that are really out of date. Uh, punishment or using intimidation. Dogs don't learn by us giving them some auditory cue. If the cue has no meaning, yes. they are more apt to learn by cause and effect, uh, trial and error, problem solving. Reinforcement is really the best way. So if I want you to do a particular behavior, I have to show you what that behavior is first. Then I might tell you what it's called. Right. You can't expect them to understand sit first time out. They don't speak any language. <laughs> they have no language skills. When you see a person yelling at a dog or physically punishing a dog, what are you thinking? Well, what I'm thinking and how I feel are pretty much the same. I, I, I oftentimes think that it's a lack of knowledge many times and sometimes frustration. We label dogs as bad dogs or good dogs um, when many times they're just being dogs. Uh, but I think punishing a dog or harming a dog, I, I just find there's really never ever a reason to do that. How much has the training helped Malcolm? Oh, immensely. Is he a much more calm, pleasant dog to be around now? Or you just he, don't you worry about him as much? He has always been a calm, pleasant dog to be around because he is a very loving dog. He is. He loves people. He loves kids. He likes meeting new people. He's really good. <laughs> Yay! Malcolm. Cutie pie, Malcolm is. Such a oh sweetheart. My goodness. And he's learning so much. Yeah. But you know, you have to train the owner the as owner much too. as you have to hey, train the dog. At the same time. And then you have to keep it up too. Uh, it's just like it's just like learning any language. If you don't use it, you mm -hmm. lose it. Consistency yeah. is the key with a with a dog for sure. Nicely done. Thank you very All right, much. Brownie points with the boss, Cindy. Good oh. job. We'll be right back. <laughs>